Hello and welcome. Thanks for taking a few minutes with me here. As we all know, life is a series of intersections and crossroads. Some are big and some are small, and we navigate each with a vision of the road ahead. Well, after 46 years in the financial services industry, my next intersection is just ahead. It's time for me to stop counting money and instead count more adventures. So I've decided to retire. My last day will be May 6th. My most proud moments have been in the 39 years that I've spent in the credit union system. Most of those years have been boots on the ground, so to speak and supporting members and credit unions periodically from a consulting role as well. But you know what, no matter where I was though, I always had the privilege of working with so many dedicated leaders and committed staff. They were passionate about making a real difference in the lives of their members. Many of you watching this now know that to be very true because you personally have experienced this high level of service commitment. Members have always been the best part of my own personal job, whether directly or indirectly. You know, 78 years ago, a handful of visionary law enforcement officers looked to Gulf Freight and Fraser Fishermen's Credit Union to help start a credit union of their own. You see, GNF was a few years old at the time and learned how to launch a credit union. So GNF mentored the policemen on how to get started. I was absolutely thrilled when I heard that story. And here we are, all these years later, now united. Well, there certainly have been lots of changes in the banking over the years, like all industries, even policing. Some changes were tougher than others, but each one moved us closer to serving members in new and exciting ways and meeting the demands that members had. When I joined VP Credit Union five years ago, I was excited to learn more about the policing industry and its members members who were equally passionate about the important role that they play in all of our communities. I enjoyed hearing all the stories from so many members years gone by in policing and all the generations that followed. Our credit union was like a club of its own, so unique with so many members knowing each other. That really impressed me. But I also heard from many members wanting new services and new ways to bank with us. And so of course our most recent change was our merger with GNF Financial at the beginning of this year. Funny how that is, 78 years after we first met. I call GNF a sweet spot in the credit union system. It's not too big to lose touch with its members, but also not too small to not be able to continually grow and change and evolve as any company needs to do. I've known the co-CEOs of GNF for many years Bill and Jeff grew up in the credit union system, much like I did. And I join many others who have great respect in their leadership and their commitment. Their commitment to the many community organizations all over the place. Commitment to service excellence to members and each one of you, and its commitment to its staff. So now that my role supporting the merger is coming to an end, I know I can venture ahead knowing I am leaving our valued VP financial members and our staff in very good hands with the GNF team. Thanks for all of your patience so far. There are still some pieces that need to take a little bit more time to get finished and integrated. The teams are all working very hard for you and all our members. I will miss your stories. I will miss the incredible police volunteer groups who dedicate so much of their time in doing such great work in our communities. And I will miss watching our staff achieve their own goals and navigate their own intersections. Thank you all very much for making my final banking year so memorable. I wish you well, and I wish many wonderful adventures await you as well. Cheers.